Hi, good morning. Welcome to Business. My name is Daryl Kwao. Ghanaian food manufacturing industries have been urged to adopt aesthetic presentations of local cuisines. Prof, uh, Pro Vice Chancellor of the Kwame Kwame University of Science and Technology, Professor Ellis Osu Dabo, says adding value to indigenous foods will engage export potentials, generate income, and sustainably preserve local dishes. He spoke at this year's edition of the KNUST Food Festival aimed at contributing to the attainment of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Emmanuel Bright Kweku has more. The 2022 edition of the KNUST Food Festival brought together students and staff from diverse cultural backgrounds. It was a platform for the rich display of the Ghanaian culture and heritage through local cuisines and dances. Dubbed Achieving the SDGs, Our Food, Our Culture, Our Health, the event saw various departments of the university and local businesses showcasing their indigenous foods and agricultural products. Pro Vice Chancellor of KNUSD, Professor Ellis Double, says a decorative presentation of local dishes would attract commercialization. We need to learn the art of food presentation. Uh, first, uh, we can talk about the whole value chain, but importantly for us now, as you saw during the rounds uh, we had in the last few minutes, the, the presentation of the, of the food uh, type brings value. And I guess as a country, we're interested in value addition as far as uh, our products are concerned. So that we be able to export these things, uh, seek for partners who will be interested in ensuring that the manufacturing chain is uh, enhanced. Ghana's local delicacies stand at a gradual extinction due to the influx of exotic cuisines over the last decade. Bemoaning the diminishing popularity of, of Ghanaian dishes, keynote speaker, Professor Daniel Dia called for the integration of culture into the 2030 SDG agenda. According to him, the protection and promotion of diverse cultural expressions are the core components of human and sustainable development. Culture must be regarded as the fourth pillar of sustainability, and I fully align with this assertion. For instance, there have been calls for the inclusion of one specific goal to be devoted to culture or better still, an integration of cultural aspects across the SDGs for easy adaptation and implementation contextually. Ashanti Regional Director of Agriculture, John Menu, assured the government's flagship program, Planting for Food and Jobs, aims at creating a thriving environment for local agricultural businesses. Currently, the national policy is to promote planting for food and jobs. So at the end of the day, government is subsidizing seed and fertilizer for farmers so that they can produce more of our local food. For Joy News, Emmanuel Bright Kweku reporting.